Hi all, today I am going to give you a small demo on mainframe automation using Blue Prism. Since I am using a free mainframe system, the demo will be very basic where I will be writing some commands, uh, sending some keys and reading some text. So uh, Blue Prism supports many terminal emulators but I will be using one of them called IBM Personal Communications. So let me just open that. So the first thing I need to do is to configure a session, right? So let me uh, start a new session. Where I will have to uh, provide uh, some parameters like host name, etc. So I am having a free, uh, as I told you, I will be using a free mainframe system. So I'm ha having a host name that I am going to use. So my host name is this. I simply copy and paste this host name and click apply. Click OK. So this is asking me to set up the uh, printer. So I just select one. And you can see uh, my mainframe emulator is able to uh, talk to mainframe system right so now uh, i am going to tell you how to uh, save the configuration file which will be uh, used by blue prism to launch the application so to save the file what you need to do you need to go to file and click on save or save as and then you need to save your configuration file so th this configuration file will basically contain all the uh, configuration information which will be uh, again used by blue prisms to establish the session or connection so let me give the name uh, something like uh, blue prism automation and let's save this uh, just to tell you that uh, the path of uh, this configuration file is something like this right? so you need to go to the uh, user then app data roaming IBM and uh, inside the personal communications folder now let's close this terminal emulator and open the blue prism tool go to studio and now I will uh, create an object so let's uh, call it our mainframe object so this is my mainframe object what I need to do uh, uh, similar to other application types uh, I need to go to application modeler where I will select the application type so since this is my application this is my mainframe so I will select mainframe click next and you can see a list of different emulators so but uh, as you know I am going to use mainframe uh, one so I will select mainframe IBM sorry IBM one so I will select this IBM uh, mainframe click next and you see it is asking for the session file path so you remember our path is this and our session file was this so let me just copy the path and go to this folder and select our blue prism automation configuration file right 
then it, it asks for a session identifier so let's select something and finish it right now I should be able to launch the configuration uh, uh, should be able to launch the terminal emulator so let me just launch and you can see my terminal emulator has been launched so now uh, you know similar to other application types I need to identify my elements and the screen So as you can see here, I need to enter my choice here. So you can see this label uh, saying enter your choice, right? So but before that, I need to identify this field, right? Or this area where I can uh, type in my choice, right? So to do so, uh, you, you need to click identify and then you need to select the screen so just remember you need not to select uh, the entire screen uh, these menus and toolbar etc you just need to select this area right so let me just select this as soon as you uh, press control and uh, do left mouse click the spire grid appears which allows you to uh, create a region for your field right so what do you need to do you just select the area let's say if I uh, want to uh, enter something here I will just select this area and select it so when you move your mouse cursor uh, that uh, area will become highlighted and you just need to press control and left mouse click so this will uh, create an element for you right so this is my uh, choice area so I just say choice and you can see you know um, uh, uh, different attributes so start X end X start Y and Y so even you can set uh, so basically these are columns and uh, rows uh, and you can select based on your uh, requirement right or you can change them if you are not able to um, you know select uh, using your mouse there let's try to highlight it so you can see it is able to highlight it right so I just click on apply and then we'll go back to my emulator I just close this spy grid so you see this close button here so just close this one and I provide the value just to go to the next screen so that I can spy uh, that screen as well so I provide AOF and press enter not actually enter but shift and control right so you can see I am taken to the new screen so here as well I need to identify the screen and I will be um, simply using uh, two things uh, operator ID and password and uh, I don't have any valid uh, credentials here so I will be using um, some vague credentials and uh, then finally it will show me some uh, error message or warning message uh, that invalid uh, credential or something right so I will try to read that so first let me identify these two uh, elements as well uh, one is operator ID and the other one is password so let's add another element we'll call it operator ID and try to identify this so similar to that uh, you need to select the field so just make sure you uh, you, uh, you create your uh, field or region uh, you know and uh, in a way that uh, you know uh, any dynamic data can be uh, incorporated here right so while reading or writing just make just take it uh, you know uh, take the uh, sufficient length 
here you can see I select this one and I am able to highlight this one the next thing would be password so I add another element I call it password identify it highlight it apply now what I do uh, let me just close this uh, expire grid and uh, let's say if I try to enter some operator ID some invalid password and try to submit this so you see this message appears here so I will try to read this message as well so let me identify this again if I add an element call it MSG identify it in a similar manner so you see I am uh, not able to sometimes this happens I am not able to select the particular row uh, so I can uh, change this uh, later as well so I just select this area right and so you uh, you see uh, my uh, end y is 24 but it should be 23 so what I do I just make this 23 here apply and then try to highlight it right so I am now uh, able to highlight the um, uh, the useful or meaningful area or the area I am uh, concerned about now let's click on OK and close the grid and even close the emulator as well now the next step would be uh, I need to automate this entire process right so I just go back to my action right uh, I'm not changing the name um, so the first uh, action would be I need to launch my uh, terminal emulator right so I will use navigate stage and will use my application name will select a launch action right and name it launch after launch it is uh, always good to use wait so I will be using wait uh, I think two seconds should be sufficient here now the next step would be I need to enter the choice if you remember right so I will use right there I will say uh, enter choice and you remember my uh, field name was choice right? so let's say if I want to enter AOF right? and the next step would be I need to submit my entry right so uh, you know for mainframe there are different ways to send um, keys right so and that may vary, vary uh, from t uh, emulator to emulator so uh, since I am using IBM one so I will be following that so let me just uh, use uh, again navigate I will say submit choice and will select my application global send keys and uh, I need to send enter right so uh, how I can send that within double quotes it will be enter like this click OK so this will send uh, this will submit my uh, choice and uh, the next step would be uh, I will have to wait for some time right so uh, let me just put a, another wait so this will be again probably two seconds and now I need to write again so I will enter my operator ID as you remember 
I will say enter op ID select operator and maybe not right next action would be I need to write the password right so I will use another write will say enter password and my password could be anything right so because uh, I do not have details so uh, that uh, login attempt will fail so, yeah. so I will just code for that uh, invalid credential uh, message so to read that uh, uh, before that I need to again submit my uh, entry so I will use another navigate where I will say submit credentials uh, here I will have to use again global send keys and enter After this, uh, I need to read the message, right? So to read the message, I will use read stage. And this is my field or area where I will use read field and will store somewhere. So this is my message right. let me generate the data item that is generated so you can see I have the data item as well right now finally I, what I want to do I want to end the flow right. so let me just link everything together So let's save this. Now let's try to run this and see what happened. So this should launch my terminal emulator. This should be able to, you see, uh, it has given the choice I am moved to the next screen here I am expecting okay so some wrong value but that's fine and you see this message appearing here now let's go back to our blue prism and check this data item so you see I'm able to read the message right so uh, this is a very basic demo uh, where I am just trying to you know uh, write something trying to read something or even uh, trying to send some keys um, the important thing is how you spy uh, any field how you use spy grid right how you can use uh, row and columns uh, to uh, create your automation Right. Hope this is helpful uh, to you guys. Thank you very much.